hello welcome to mega wear os in this video we are going to see how to use auto wear app mainly you will be seeing the auto wear screens element in this video rest all are the elements you will be seeing in the upcoming videos let's get into the video now so open the play store search for auto wear install the app you have to install the companion app on your watch also I have given the link in the description you can download the apk from there and i have given the link above and in the description also you can watch that video and install this apk onto your watch so i have installed the apk on my watch i will just show it so here you can see auto wear and auto wear settings i will just open the auto wear settings so give the uh, permissions uh, required permissions and the foreground enable the foreground option then only uh, the auto wear will be keep on running so if you want to send screen events to your phone you can turn it on and system logs you no need to turn it on and uh, if you want to detect your watch shake and you want to send those commands to your phone you can turn it on and finally launch apps so here if you see there are uh, many options available so basically uh, these are, are the shortcuts which will be displayed in your app list i'll just enable few and i will show in the app list so here it should display uh, i'll just uh, close this and open the app drive again you can see the action activities afternoon these are what i have just selected now if you open anything now it won't open it will just close because we have not configured anything for these shortcuts so once we configure the shortcuts then uh, when you open that shortcut it will open that particular it will do the particular action uh, i'll just disable it now for now so yeah that's all basic settings on the watch now let's configure in the phone so yeah the airplane mode is on my watch i'll just turn it off and turn on the bluetooth and connect to my phone okay I turned on the Bluetooth. It yeah, looks like it's connected. I just go back and try again. Yeah, you can see it is confirmed. The watch is connected. Just give next, next, next until you finish. So you don't need to do anything on these screens. We can configure everything later. So I'll just click next and finish this setup wizard. And here also whatever permission required you can give the access so basically this app is seven days free trial or you can purchase it or it will give some ads you can watch it and keep on using it so here these are the options available so the first one is you can see the weird device so here it will show the watch name okay so it's we'll just close and open yeah you can see the watch is connected the me watch so just select this so here uh, you can see wear elements are the right there are some nine wear elements each has different different features so whatever uh, you configure it will be uh, applied to that particular watch which you selected above okay so uh, in this video we are going to see the only the screens the first wear element what are the features available inside that in my uh, future video we will be seeing the other wear elements okay so uh, and how we are going to use this app is basically you can see in the phone side we are receiving auto wear command screen on or auto wear command screen off you will be seeing yeah so we will be using these commands and we will be doing some actions on our phone okay navigate to screens feature tap on the plus icon so here these are the available options okay so i will just start with the four screen okay so i'm not going to do any changes on this screen i'll just click on ok so now you can see it is created a full screen on my watch okay but when you tap on any of these four uh, screens nothing will happen because we didn't configure anything so basically uh, when we for example when i tap on this uh, screen 
it will send the command to my phone so we can use that command and perform some action on our phone so that is how we can use the screens so now uh, if you see on my phone so there is a second last command to show so by default it has the app open command okay so what is app open command so here if you go to this list of apps you will see the auto here by default if you didn't have any screens i will just delete this for example so now there is no screen i'll just open this auto here so it opened and closed because nothing has configured now so i'm going to add this again okay so once you when you are creating a new uh, screen by default it will display automatically so from next time onwards based on the commands we can display that for screen so here the command to show is app opened by default okay so now if you are opening this auto here it opened that for screen okay so this is uh, the by default behavior okay so we can change it however we want so i will just edit this so the first point first one is screen name so always give a unique screen name or else it will override the existing one so I, I given some name and command to show so this is what i was talking about so i'll just so there are some predefined events uh, you can use those also as a command or you can use your um, whatever command you use okay so uh, i'll just click no now so for example i'll just click no so you can see this is the default command which is already there so okay i'll just click again open so uh, just for starting i'll just give s yes. so we are going to use some the predefined command okay i'll just replace the existing one so here these are the predefined events okay so when any of this event happens it will display that full screen so now you can see the screen uh, on uh, is selected i'll just select that only again we'll just apply it okay so once applied it will display on the watch we'll close this let the watch go to the uh, let's the watch turn off the screen once it turn off i will turn on the screen so when i turn on the screen it should display the four screens you can see right so it is executing that so still when i tap on this nothing will happen because we didn't configure that yet let's go edit here so next we have style settings nothing to do there so here if you see the sections we have right bottom left top center also okay so in the watch there are only four sections if you add center it will display center also i will just start with the right section so right uh, here you can add some text which can be which will be displayed on this uh, right side um, maybe i will write some music okay so music will be displayed there we can select an icon so i have installed the ipac icons app so it will display the list of icons so maybe i will select something related to music okay now when you tap on that particular screen what command the watch should send to the phone what i will do is i will uh, launch music so when you tap on that it will send the launch music command okay uh, when you tap on that uh, when you do a long tap on that particular screen what to do i will maybe i will launch youtube music i will write like this okay like that we have double tap and swipe and finally you can change the color also oh, that's fine we can leave it so now the right section is ready what i will do is i'll just click ok okay the screen is updated you can see the icon is available here i will just tap on this you can see launch music command is received on the phone i will long tap on this launch youtube music so that command also received okay so this is how we are going to send the commands from the watch to the phone so now this command we have to use in some task wrap you can use that as uh, default uh, you can use this task wrap or i am using macro droid i will just use that only 
so i have purchased this one i'll just open this macro drive so here if you don't know how to use this macro i have given the link above and in the description watch that video uh, it's simple only so what i will do is i will add a macro here launch music is the name so trigger so click on the applications tasker local plugin so here if you see autoware is displaying autoware so here uh, we have autoware command and an autoware state so basically i will just show here when you tap on this you can see it shows autoware command launch music so you need to select autoware command okay so in the event we are not sending any event so just cancel it we are sending a command so what command we are sending launch music so exactly type that command here text here and there are some other settings like case insensitive etc 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 uh, just click ok and this is variables if you want to save anything you can save in variables i am not going to save anything just click ok so now this is the trigger so when launch command i will just show again so when this launch command is received what action it should do it should launch the uh, application so what i am using the power amp i'll just use this app so when that command received it will launch this power amp okay one more i will create now itself launch youtube music okay trigger plugin auto wear command so what command we have to enter I'll just long press this launch youtube music launch youtube music okay just okay okay what action launch app okay just okay so i'm saving this also if you go to macros so there are these two macros are created what i will do is i will just minimize this turn on screen on the watch okay now just tap on this so launch music is received it launched the power amp app i will long press this so launch youtube music command received it launched the youtube music app so this is how we can use this auto wear app basically okay so there are something else also need to tell so we used the predefined commands now right like screen on so if you want to use some uh, manual commands i will just delete this no oh, i will just edit it okay so here click on this command to show so you can use any command as event if you wish but you can use or oh, do you want to no i don't want to use predefined event okay what i will do is i will just delete this so basically uh, when this command uh, i'll just say hello okay so i'm setting as a hello so when this command is received so that time the law four screens will be displayed on the watch okay what i'll say is uh, what i'll do is so four screens okay so when the watch receives this command it will show that four screen okay so that is the uh, change we did now so once updated it will show on the watch but uh, from next time onwards when the watch receives the show four screens command that time only it will show that four screens okay i will just turn on the screen you can see uh, now it is not coming that four screen okay okay so we have used the predefined events so like screen on so that time it showed the four screens now we have set as a show four screens as a command so how this command we have to send to the watch then only it will display that four screens on the watch okay so how to do that so you have to use the task wrap so here i'm using the macro droid again so okay add macro here we have trigger sections so if you want any trigger you can add based on the trigger action will happen 
I'm not going to add anything right now. I'll just show the actions. Okay, so Tasker AutoWare. So here many actions are available, right? So these are the actions. So um, for this particular case, I'm going to use the AutoWare app. So here, uh, don't worry about anything. Just you can see that a command option is there. So here we need to enter the same command what we have given there. So show for screen. Just okay. Okay. So this is the action I have created. So when this action happens on the phone, it will send that show for screen to the watch. Then it will display that for screen. I'll just double tap now. You can see the screen on, but uh, it is not showing that for screen because we have changed the command to show as show for screens the second last row okay so four screens show four screens so i'll just edit this i have given show for screen screens it's screens right okay save so now i will just test this basically test means it will execute that action so when i click on this test action it will launch that full screen on the watch so you can see it launched that command is written it sent back to phone again so full screen if you have see it has gone so this is how we can use uh, the auto wear right uh, auto wear manual command okay so this uh, just a second so in the four screens you can set whatever you want like launch maps etc etc whatever action you want to do you can do you can set everything there okay so just uh, anything else i'm missing here okay that's all on this four screen i'll just delete this so we have still uh, some other options single screen so and the, the same way how we did for four screen uh, we will be doing for all this and just do quickly I'll not explain much on this because it's like same how we did for four screen and just show how it displays on the watch okay single screen I'll just do quickly so when screen is on so I'll just show some text hello mega air OS okay so this text will be displayed on tap what should happen send a command what command mm. tap just send something okay if you see it's created hello mega virus they have, uh, what I'll do is I'll just close this let the screen go to off mode okay now i'll just turn on okay now you are seeing this right so just tap on this you can see it received the tapped command on the phone okay so that's about the single screen just did this next image screen so we can set image so this one is image screen right we can set image on the watch so as this example i will just uh, use the screen on only so how i explained in the four screen you can use your manual command also select image i'll just select one image you can set the size of the image also i'll just apply it okay so right so this is how it will display the image when that command is received by the watch okay let it go off or what i will do is i will just edit it i will change the command to so as uh, replace power disconnected if you see my watch is connected to power right now so what i will do is uh, what now you can see the image has gone once i removed the power once i disconnected the charger it should display that image let me remove this from the charger you can see it displaying the image okay so it's just an example watch connected to charger 
watch charged 100%. Please unplug the charger. Starting 10 minutes. Okay. So these are uh, some macros I have created. So uh, okay, that's fine. I'll just delete this. So that's how image works. Unbutton screen here. Uh, Same way, I just show the buttons screen on. Yes, replace on screen. So, okay, so here uh, basically um, list of images. So, you have to select some images. So, that images will display a button that will create a button. Okay, so basically, what will is I think we can select an icons so so this one icon and select another one or two randomly I selected some few icons okay I'll just close this so these images will be displayed on the watch okay so so if you see the commands so comma separated list of values one for each button so we have selected four images there right so for each image we need to set a command here so in the same order for example one comma two comma three comma so i selected four images right so four commands these are the same kind of settings long tap etc etc if you want you can configure it i'll just apply it okay if you see four image is created when I tap on the first one you can see it receives the one and tap second two tap three three and tap on four this is four so like you can uh, even modify the image size etc etc here uh, background etc etc okay so this is how we can use this uh, buttons element and delete this we will see the next one voice screen okay so this is same way what i will do is replace when screen is on so text that appears at the top of the voice recognition you can by default sort of it is doing if you want you can change it and just leave it like this only uh, in choices you can add some predefined words uh, mostly whenever you are saying a word the auto wear will search for those words uh, from here okay so it is not mandatory i'll just leave it as as it is so that's all i'll just click ok you can see it's saying please wait auto wear listening hello hello So actually it should listen the word what we are saying and it should send that command to the phone so we can use that command again the same way how we use it in the screens uh, let me try once more hello okay maybe the watch is not connected i think yeah the watch is not connected to the internet that's the problem just a second Okay, I hope now it will work. What I will do is I just show click show will come here. Okay. Hello. I think the command received on the watch. Let me try again. Hello world. Lol. Okay, it received lol. So you can see that command has come here. So you we can use that command and execute some of the action on our phone okay so this is how voice works i delete this okay next emoji so basically this emoji won't work so if you click here you can see need android 5.1 uh, it's a older model it requires we have android 9 here so it won't work i just delete this 
next list screens so same way command replace screen on so in the labels you have to enter list of the commands you want to appear on your list okay so what will you say just write music comma movie comma max just click okay so comma separated list of icons so you have now i have added music movie maps three right so the, in the same order you can add icons so i'll just select icons first one is music right music okay maybe i will just select randomly something it will take time okay so now for each three label i have created three images okay and here in the commands the same way you have to add uh, three commands so i added three labels three images now three commands so uh, yeah that's all so each all are so everything is respective to the labels and the images okay i'll just click okay now you can see there are three uh, options available in the list music movie and maps so when i click maps it will send one and movie two and maps three okay so like this also you can create a list here in your watch and you can use it okay read this again next keyboard screen okay um command to so replace screen on okay text to appear as hint you can give any hint here hint i'll just give as a hint only so you don't need to do anything if you want to do some style settings you can do i'll just click okay it will show a, a keyboard numeric keyboard on your watch so whatever number you are sending that will be sent to the phone i'll just so this is the backspace this is okay i'll just click okay if you see the number is received on the phone we can use that number and we can execute some uh, task on the phone so this is a keyboard screen next dialog screen okay i'll just click okay i'm not doing any changes if you see there are uh, it comes sorry sure so when you click on this red button it will send cancel you can see receive the cancel and just show again okay when you click on this green button it sends okay if you want you can change that uh, weddings you can use it however you want okay and then confirm screen i'll just click okay again this also you can see in few few seconds it is waiting uh, if you, you can click cancel or else it will send okay to the phone i'll just show again so now i'm not going to cancel it if you see the phone it will send okay okay now what i'll do is i'll click on cancel you can see it received the cancel command okay so that's about confirming the screen next the final one text screen so i'm not going to do any changes i'll just show this is i'll just change some settings this title uh, basic text here okay on tap i'll just change this text command okay so i'll just click okay it will show the text on the watch okay you can see this title basic text here so when i tap on that you can see that command text command is received on the phone so yeah this is how we can use the text screen right so yeah so we have seen everything available in the manage screens section so uh, the same way we will be seeing the rest of the VR elements in the future videos so please if you want to know how to do those and all you can watch in my future videos so if you like this video like press the like button and subscribe the channel okay
if you have any questions or doubts you can put in the comments i will answer okay yeah